Shalom and hope you are having a blessed day. We thank you for joining in us for our devotionals and we come together to hear from God, look into God's word and hear what he has to say. We have been looking at the topic on faith, going through faith journeys. We're almost at the end of it, looking at, at one of our last heroes of faith, who is David, who we see was had a secure faith. Hebrews 11, 33, 34. And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to fight the armies of the aliens. We see in the Hall of Faith, King David is the only one mentioned as a king in this chapter. Now, David fits a lot of description in this verse. It says how by faith he subdued kingdoms, he worked righteousness, he stopped the mouths of lions, became valiant in battle. Now this is quite an impressive list for a young boy who moved from being a shepherd to a warrior and then to a king of Israel. And we see on his, his account that he lived a remarkable life and he was uh, an excellent king at the time that he ruled in Israel. So through his secure faith, let's look at what he did. It was through faith that a young David killed a big giant, Goliath, all through his faith, his secure faith in God. It was through this faith, the secure faith, that David ran away from Saul. It was through this faith that David knew that he could rest and one day would be made king of Israel. And it was by this faith that David did not lay a hand on Saul, knowing that God would take care of, of him. It was also this faith that helped David fight the Philistines, fight the Ammonites. It is this faith he, who made him uh, victorious in, in battle. It was this faith that strengthened him when he had to flee from his son, Absalom. It was this faith that helped him cope with the death of his sons. We also see that it was this faith that made him write numerous psalms and songs unto the Lord. And it is this faith that made David righteous unto the Lord. We see that it was out of his secure faith that he did all that, that is mentioned in this list. David's secure faith never wavered. He knew his God. And not only at the time when, when he had so many things to his name, but he was also secure when it came to a place of repentance. He knew that when he repented, God would bring him to a place of forgiveness. So David remained secure in the knowledge of who God is. And he also um, knew that in God's timing, David, God would move David to the promises that he had for him. David is a good example of someone who had a secure faith, not just at the time of victories, but also during a time of repentance. The lesson we learn is that knowing God intimately builds our secure faith in Him. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the faith that we learn from David the security that he had in you. He knew who his God was. We pray that we will learn that to be, to be intimate in our understanding and our security in you. Teach us to live a life of faith that is completely secure, knowing that you are our God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.